My next uh, two guests come in unison. Not only that, they come on the screen together. Our first is the newly appointed, just wet behind the ears, newly appointed captain of Victoria. And the other one is Rex's Rookie of the Week, who unfortunately has had to pull out of the Big V. He is a very, very good player with North Melbourne. First of all, Gary Lyon from Melbourne and Anthony Stevens from North Melbourne. Well, first of all, to Gary Lyon, it, uh, it must be a great honour for you to lead the state. Uh, you, you're a, a typical boy who has come through the right channels to reach the game at the highest level, and it must be a dream come true, although bad luck for Ruzi. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a tremendous blow that we, we're missing out on a player of the calibre of Paul Ruse, but it's uh, certainly a, a great honour and a terrific thrill from my point of view to, to have been given uh, the job of leading Victoria Tuesday night. And, of course, you know, when bad luck comes, of course, other people have good fortune. Anthony, you must be really disappointed because you're playing very, very well. You, you, you're making your name as a very, very good player for North Melbourne. It must be disappointing for you. Yeah, I'm very disappointed, Rex. You know, I went out yesterday hoping that I'd get a game in the big side, but it didn't happen. That's it's a di disappointing against West Coast yesterday. Are the side off the boil at the moment? Do you have to remember what made you a great side and how's Pagan approaching the situation at the minute? Oh, yeah, well, we went out yesterday and our, you know, we didn't win in the centre and our own bowlers and that yep. weren't getting the ball down the forward line, so, you know, we've really got to work out did you have some training with the state squad before you were injured? Yeah. Were you impressed with the way it went on? Yeah, I was very nice. Were you impressed with Ted Witten's stare? Yeah, and his handshake. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Did you really want to play for Victoria, despite what Dennis Pagan said today, that as long as his players don't get injured? Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's a great honour to play for Victoria. And yeah. It's a dream come true. Gary, how many big Vs have you won? Uh, I think seven or eight, Rex. And what yeah. is your personal opinion of state of origin football? Oh, look, I, I'm a big fan of state footy. I think it uh, you know, remains one of the one highlights of the year, you know, yep. to get together with the calibre of players that we have in our team at the moment. And uh, it's, a, it's a big thrill. And look, come Tuesday night, we'll have a team of committed boys that uh, are very keen to play and will we'll equip themselves well. There has been a lot written about the, the tremendous time involvement for you guys to play footy. Perhaps in hindsight, with 22 rounds, we could have placed a weekend aside where we had nothing else but state of origin football. I got the fingers burned in Melbourne last year, but certainly Adelaide have been magnificent in their support of the concept. Yeah, they have. Look, they always come out in their droves over there, and it was disappointing last year. I mean, we, we did put that week aside, and uh, to only draw 30-odd thousand was, was, a, was a major disappointment. Yeah. But, look, state footy's got its place, and, you know, I guess uh, with all the controversy this week, it'll be looked at again, and just trying to slot it in is, uh, you know, what they'll be trying to do. Anthony, it's almost a worn record now that football is 90% from the shoulders up, but it must give you great confidence to see a player like Kerry lead the side from the front. He was just magnificent again, again yesterday you didn't win the contest but it must give you great confidence you young kids oh Wayne Carey's this uh, magnificent play you know you know you just get the ball down to him and he just takes he marks, yeah. what what, what uh, path did you travel to make the North Melbourne seniors uh, originally for the under 19s did you yeah come from prep for the under 19s yeah and, yep. the seniors. Yep. and do you have some long-term goals do you, do you want to play 100 games then 200 games or how many do you want to play Oh, play 100 games. Tell you what, it's worth playing 200 because every year we get together and the crayfish is fantastic. <laughs> like Gary, you're, I think you're just about there, aren't you? Oh, no, I've got a 40, 50 odd to go. Right? Yeah, it must have been uh, tremendous yesterday. A disappointing crowd for you, but Collingwood have always been a great adversary of Melbourne going back to even before you were born. Yes, we're all you know, very much aware of the, the tradition that goes with the game against Collingwood and uh, we were happy to get away. I mean, some... Uh, Cynic said the only thing better would have been to beat them by a point, Rex, which I thought was probably a bit cruel. Oh, you wouldn't be cruel to Collingwood, would you? Certainly not. Would but have they, taken they certainly make the competition, like the Adelaide Crows and uh, West, West Coast. That, that's what it's all about. You know, you can barrack for who you want to. I want to yeah. thank you guys, especially uh, Gary, and wish Gary Lyon all the very best as he takes our troops into battle against the Crows. Well, it's not the Crows, it's South Australia, of course, on Tuesday night. And Anthony Stevens is our Rookie of the Week. Raquel. $250 to spend there, Andrew. Oh, Thank you. Sorry, Anthony. Anthony. And how would you spend that, mate? Uh, on Raquel, I think, Rex. Yeah. You think on Raquel? <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. There'll be more after the break because when I get the flick, it'll be he's Gary Lyon and I'm not. He's <laughs> taking away the show back shortly. <laughs>